when you spend your time with the genuine and god is genuine pure love pure truth pure light then when it's so much easier not to resonate with that which isn't and that's why I, why i encourage people to spend so much time with god because you you begin to know genuine love what genuine unconditional love is really all about and in that genuine unconditional love in that genuine unconditional love you then can detect that which isn't when you spend the time in the tr in the light jesus is the light god is light the light of truth the light of love when you spend your time dwelling there abiding there living in it and then you see something whether it be news or so anything if it doesn't carry the frequency of love and truth you reject it just say that isn't god and that isn't true so when it comes to a lot of all these conspiracies and all of this stuff there are some things which are called conspiracy which i absolutely believe are true <laughs> because it resonates with the truth that i've experienced in god there's a whole lot of things which are also called conspiracies which i know are definitely not true and i use that to measure when i look at something what frequency does it carry fear is never true because it carries a frequency which is totally opposite love there are lots of other things which just aren't true which i determine and detect simply because it just doesn't resonate it does not match up with the frequency of who god is and and the truth that i've experienced in him now i know the tree of the knowledge of good and evil thrives in deception that was the original issue the devil is a liar from the beginning as soon as he made a statement which is contradictory to the truth that became the source of all rebellion and the source of the tree and the knowledge of good and evil it's it's based in deception if you do not know the truth then you're open to deception and the more i've come to know the truth the more i realize that i was deceived and i then turn away from the lies that i believed to actually embrace the truth that i'm experiencing in my relationship with god face to face which is why he's changed my whole perspective on judgment and justice and punishment and hell and everything else because when you experience the how far god's love goes and god's love goes into death obviously um but could not be contained in death and came into resurrection life then i know that god will never 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 stop loving us and we'll never stop until we know that love because most people don't know it because god is totally completely passionate about us way way more than we can understand from any human emotion that we might have towards our own children you know and we may have you know very positive emotions towards our own children so we might have a multiply that by infinity and you'll see how deep god's emotions go and they are emotions they're really essences the fruit of the spirit the essence of god's emotions you know he will never ever stop love will never fail love will win because love's already won it's just people have to come into a realization of it this side of death or after death but god is never ever going to stop until everything's restored that he originally created.